Hey, Battle Bill here with another video. Getting some more Season 11 Go Battle League battles. These taking place in the Hasui Cup meta. And we have a submission from a fellow PvP of the community, a homie of mine by the name Schroeder B. And boy, does he have the team submission today that he is legitimately pushing elo with at the legend rank it feels like it's meta but it sure doesn't look like it we got some hasuian electro content on a double electric strat with a magna zone in the lead and frost last in the back the best part about this double electric strat is that hasuian electrode is an electric grass type so it does not take super effective damage from ground like other electric types would and this Hasui Mon is the forgotten one of this event. We have the feature with all of the new ones, Hasui Quillfish, Hasui Sneasel, Hasui Growlithe, and then Bravery coming up. But we got one Hasui Mon here a while ago, and it might just be the best Hasui Mon, that per or the best performing Hasui Mon in the Hasui Cup meta. How many times can I say Hasui? That's a real question of this intro. Let's jump right into these battles. Thank you, Schroeder B, for the submission. As we get into them, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's check them out. I'm excited to see how well he's able to perform. Gets an amazing lead off the jump. They save swap into Lucario. He matches with his Frostlass. Has to worry about potentially getting Shadow Ball by a Lucario. Going straight for the bait. Gonna land Avalanche. Looks like it might be the play, as long as he calls a shield. Can he powder snow down or calls a move? What does he decide to do? He calls it. He gets baited by Power Up Punch. Super unfortunate. Can the Lucario get to another move? They do. Is this enough? counters to get to the shadow ball he's not shielding it is enough he loses switch super unfortunate at a shield disadvantage how is he going to overcome this um lead scenario in the first match not super ideal their last mon is Bassiodon, so at least he keeps the Frostlass away from the Bassiodon and has a shield to protect against the flame throwing damage that Bassiodon can throw at both his magnezone and his Asui electrode and one of the mons that he mentioned to me were, that were a big weakness to this team would be Bassiodon specifically because he doesn't have a great hard answer. So he double wild charges, goes into his Hasui Electrode, gonna let the Bassiodon throw the Flamethrower, does about, you know, two-thirds to 70% of the Electrode's health. They then swap into the Drip Bloom. Drip Bloom has nowhere to go against his team because every single mon here can deal super effective damage to it. Throws one wild charge, one shot to Drip Bloom, absolutely disappears then goes for another wild charge on the bassion does a good chunk of its health the bassion decides not to shield i guess assuming that magna zones wild charge would hit harder than the electrodes so they're going for a charge move gonna be the flamethrower gets schroeder's last shield commits to the smart spark down and boom Matches up against an unideal mon in the back in the form of Bassiodon and loses switch after winning lead and still able to overcome because of how much this team is clearly popping off right off the bat. Gets another positive lead. They safe swap into another count through user. He's got Frostlass to match it. The Frostlass Toxic Rogue matchup is a much more comfortable one than the Lucario one. Even if they throw Dynamic Punch, even if they throw Mud Bomb, Frostlass can comfortably just throw Avalanches and win in what should be all shielding scenarios. The opponent, oh, maybe not the two shield because he let that Dynamic Punch come through. Consider I mean, who's running Dynamic Punch? And also considering the fact that as much as it's single resisted, Dynamic Punch hits hard and is staffed from Toxie. So he loses Switch again, which is pretty crazy. But has shield advantage on a bunch of glass cannon type mons that are going to be spamming out heavy wild charges. So are we going to see a sweep here? Are we going to see a Sui Electro just completely thundershock down this Toxic Croak? They, he shielded one Sludge Bomb. They're going to get off another one. He shields both Sludge Bombs. He's at equal shielding now. They come in with a Munchlax. I'm surprised. You think you want to save Munchlax in the back since it has Bulldoze. You want to land on the Magma Zone. I don't know. It all depends on whatever their last mon is. Gets off both these wild charges. Going to take out the Munchlax's remaining health. They did preserve a little bit of that toxic rope he's gonna have to swap out to clear the debuffs on his magnetism on his electrode they come in with another counter user they come in with lucario but he gets the wild charge is wild charge enough neutral damage to one shot lucario boom it is holy christ the toxic rope comes in the Magnezone debuff survives the counters and he's able to spark it down. God damn, these are some insane plays. Getting to the next match, we have Ma uh, Magnezone on a Potch Risu. So they're both dealing what? Resisted damage to each other? He's throwing Mirror Shot, which is also resisted, right? Yeah, Electric Resist Steel. But gets the attack debuff, which is pretty clutch. Patrice is going to throw a bunch of electric damage. But Magnezone's pretty glassy, so even though it's resisted, it... uh. 
So there's a little bit of a chunk there. They're going for another charge move, and plus it was also debuffed, if you keep that in mind. So two Thunderbolts probably would have taken out the Magnet Zone, if not debuffed. He goes, builds up the two Wild Charges, throws one, does half of the remaining health, goes for the second Wild Charge. This will take out the Pachi, unless they decide the Shield. They decide the Shield, so he swaps into his Asui Electrode, and now, does he double resist Electric moves? I always mix up the Grass and Electric typing. I always forget who resists who, and based on how much damage that does, it looks like Grass resists Electric. They come in with the Obama Snow. We'll get an answer here when we throw this uh, Wild Charge at the Obama Snow. And that's resisted. Not because of the Ice Typing. Because of the Grass Typing. So yes. Hasui Electro does double resist Electric. We learned that today in the Battle Build channel. You probably all knew that. I learned that today. It's a good thing I do the Shoutcast content. Helps me improve my own game. Either way, back-to-back -back Wild Charge is thrown. Almost gets Powder Snow down because Ice super effective on Hasui Electro's Grass Typing. But gets to another Wild Charge in time. Takes out the Obama Snow. The Pachirisu comes back in to Thundershock him down. Gonna need to come in with the Frost Last and Clutch. Maybe commit to a Powder Snow down. Shield a potential Electric move from the Pachirisu. Those are definitely going to get to it here. Does he decide the shield? That's the question. He decides the shield. What is the opponent's last mon? Is he going to be able to get the powder snow all the way down? No, they swap into a drip loom. Does he throw on correct timing? It lags. He might have thrown a correct timing there, but unfortunately the hex still sneaks through. He's going to need to try and catch a move, and he does! What a play! Almost gets screwed by the goddamn lag. And because you know typical Niantic stuff, but it's still able to clutch overcome the scenario get to another avalanche here One shot the drip looms remaining health the Pachirisu comes in committing to the powder snow down Opponent top lefts boom GG to them god damn. He's not like hard countering any ball He's got some hard counter matchups, but it's not it's not these are not RPS matches Speaking of which though, he's got a great lead here with Magnezone on Frostlass Magnezone does have to worry about the shadow balls because it's so glassy that neutral damage is going to hit hard either way though like i said these matches have been impressive and i'm loving shout cast them so again even though we're in the middle of this shorter b thank you so much for submitting it these are great these are quality they safe swap out of the lead from the frost last on the magnet zone into the basket on and again his best play in this scenario is to wild charge the hell out of it to get as much damage done as possible so he's gonna throw back to back wild charges here in his magnet zone go into the sui electrode i feel like at this point maybe it's just energy ball He's gonna not shield the flamethrower. Okay, we saw how much damage he did earlier. Wants to preserve the shield since he's at the shield disadvantage. Completely understandable. Going to over farm considering everything. Probably realizes he's low health, so he's gonna just throw back to back wild charges at the Basti and then whatever else comes back in. Do they come back in with their lead mom? Do they come back in with a frost last to powder snow down? Super effective damage. No, they come in with the Obama snow to powder snow down. Crazy. Throws another wild charge, does a good chunk of the Obama Snow's health. Do you come back in with the Magnus on him? Just mirror shot the heck out of both of his remaining mods. No, he comes in with the Frost Last because at least with Frost Last, it's not going to take any super effective damage from Obama Snow, whereas the opposing Frost Last would have Shadow Ball. That energy ball hits like a truck, though, because it's a goddamn Shadow Obama Snow, but it's not hit hard enough. He's going to get off an avalanche here. Based on powder snow damage, he would have been able to get off another one there. But all he needs to do here is spam these mirror shots. The opponent has two shields, so they're going to essentially commit those shields to a bunch of super effective mirror shot damage. He's going to shield here. Another move is going to come through another avalanche. Will he be able to outpace? Will he get off back-to-back -back mirror shots? Or does he just pa uh, spark down and then powder snow down this frost last? We'll never know what he would have needed to do because the opponent says, you know what, I'm losing this no matter what anyway. The size out the shield. That use their last shield and GG's to that opponent. Getting to the next matchup, another positive lead. They safe swap into Empoleon. Could have stayed in with the uh, Magnezone, but honestly, the safer matchup here is the Sui Electrode. Going to take neutral from Drill Peck, resist the um, Hydro Cannons, whereas Magnezone would have taken neutral, and then of course, the Sui Electrode probably wouldn't have had as nice of a matchup against the Drip Loom based on the Icy Wind damage that can hit the grass typing of Hasui Electrode. They come back in with the Drip Loom. He builds up the two Wild Charges. Is he going to get both shields? Throws one, gets a first shield, gets the next one off. Should get another shield here if they want to commit to all the energy they've built up. Does get both shields. The Drip Loom has a little bit of energy, maybe for a bit over a Shadow Ball. They then swap into another Bastion. So a team that is not supposed to be doing amazing against Bastion here is showing you how well it can perform. And we'll see again with the Shield Advantage and the Wild Charge Spam how well it's going to do so he's going to pop off two wild charges probably swap into his uh oh he's building up to another one nope smart play building up to another wild almost another two wild charges maybe wild charges and mirror shots that's exactly what he decides to do i was like maybe come in frost last take some super effective um 
Smackdown damage, but then Powder slows down. But either way, able to take out the Bastion pretty comfortably because of the shield advantage. The Drip Bloom comes back in, and again, Drip Bloom has no play against this team. Gonna build up to the Avalanche after shielding and take out the Drip Bloom's remaining health. Boom! Takes out a solid amount of that health, even after being debuffed. I'm pretty sure they threw the Icy Winds. I don't know. I'm too excited. These matches are just going so goddamn well. Getting to the next one. Terrible lead. Magnezone and the Gashadon. Safe swaps into a Sasuian Electrode. They then swap and match with the Frostlass. So not a great swapping scenario here. Going to double Wild Charge, or maybe single, and then build the two again in hopes he doesn't get Powder Snow down. Nope, he throws both of them right off the bat. Boom, boom. Got both shields, which is huge. That was, again, another thing that he had mentioned about this team. It's always... His aim is to safe swap into Hasui Electrode and spam as many wild charges and maybe not necessarily win switch, but leave with a huge shield advantage, which is exactly what he has here. Not going to commit any shields to the Magnezone, considering just the pure fact that... uh Crash on in the back. Okay, I'm gonna commit sh one shield here. I didn't know they were gonna get to another move. He gets the wild charge. This should take out the frost slash's remaining health, and he's gonna swap immediately into that frost slash here because that mud mud slap from Gashadon, if that was what was gonna happen, would have taken out the Magnus' remaining health. They then come into Drip Bloom and then swap into Gashadon. And then he shadow balls a Gashadon. He has to worry about earth power damage. Technically needs to respect it. They did build up enough energy. Or Water Pulse damage, because the other move on Gashadon is Body Slam, which would have been double resisted. Honestly, the opponent, considering he committed to that farm down, would have just been better off double uh, Body Slamming, because that would have done, even though double resisted, would have done the Frost Slash's remaining health. But they make that mistake. He takes full advantage. Farms down. Shadow Balls a Drip Boom. Bada Bing, Bada Boom. Overcomes a bad lead. Wins a match. Gets another bad lead. Save Swaps into... The Electrode again gets matched with another bad safe swap Mon against his with the Abomasone dealing super effective ice damage. Gonna build up to about two wild charges again. Oh, doesn't throw the second one. Gonna let this move come through. Unfortunately, doesn't leave this situation with the shield advantage. Probably gonna come in with Magnezone. Magnezone resisting all damage from the Abomasnow, right? Resist the grass damage. We went over this, kind of, I don't know, mixing up grass and electric, but still resists grass. So, yeah, going to need to throw weather balls. Even resisted does a bunch of damage because Magnezone so glassy, but does not want to commit to the Magnezone based on the fact that it's he's, the Toxic Croak is still lined up with it. He is going to go for a mirror shot and then have enough energy for the wild charge on the Toxic Croak, which is a great play. Takes out the Obama Snow here. Toxie comes in, throws a wild charge, counter should sneak through. But even debuff should not do enough damage to take out the Magnezone. Swaps into the Frost Slash. They come in with an Empoleon. I don't know if he's going to be able to overcome this situation. Because this is another bad matchup. Even though he does have the shield advantage. So he's going to commit the shields. But it looks like he might potentially get Waterfall down. Or maybe Waterfall enough where the Toxic can counter down. This one's going to be intense. This is going to be a close one. He's going to over farm here. Going to throw another Shadow Ball. This should take out the Empoleon's remaining health. The, uh, the opponent didn't. Oh, it didn't! Oh, so unfortunate. I was like, the opponent did not throw a charge move knowing they could fast move down. I guess maybe throw a charge move here to try to get the shield for the Toxie. Either way, Schroeder knows. Alignment was terrible there. Lost lead, lost swap, lost closing Mon. Kept it as close as he possibly could. And it was relatively close. If the Shadow Ball does more, a little bit more damage there, he's able to uh, potentially beat the Toxic Rook with his Frost Slash in the closing scenario. Getting to this next matchup, we have Magnezone on Napoleon lead. Going to build up the two wild charges, seeing if the opponent decides a shield. The opponent did get a shield of his with the Hydro Cannon. Could he get both shields? It looks like it because they already committed one. Why wouldn't they just, you know, commit both at that point? He does get both shields. The opponent, Water falls down. He comes in with the Hasui Electrode and they swap into a Ghost Flyer. So he throws right before they're able to get off a move. Smart, huge play on his part. That was the perfect amount of time to get a little bit of over farm. Completely destroys the Drift Bloom's existence. Maybe the opponent saw Grass Happy and was like, yeah, my Ghost Flyer is going to do great here. Or maybe misclicked the one to go on the Frost Last. Either way, though, Frost Last is going to take a bunch of damage from Hasui Electrode's Wild Charge here, too. Boom, we see that. Doesn't completely take out, but even Debuff is not able to get Powder So down. This Electrode is literally popping off. And Frost Slash just needs to get to an Avalanche here, even resisted. Should be able to clean up what's left of this opponent's team, which is just their Empoleon, because the Sui Electro decided it wanted to completely slaughter both ghost types of its his opponents. Getting into the next matchup, another positive, well, not another, but a positive lead here with the Drift may safe swap into the Empoleon. He then matches with his other electric grass type here. 
they're going to be throwing drill backs, or they should be. Again, neutral damage. Gonna build up the two wild charges. Not gonna shield anything. Maybe doesn't care to keep switch again because every mon his team does really well against Rifloom. But the opponent decided that they didn't want to get switch or didn't want to give up a shield. And he's able to keep switch, land the wild charge, gets off another wild charge on the Bastion, just fall short of his second wild charge, unfortunately. Gonna need to come into the Magna Zone here, gonna need to spam some wild charges, maybe throws the first one, then builds up the two again like he did last time. Let's see how he decides to play this out. The opponent decides to Stone Edge. I mean, as much as it's resisted, Magna Zone's so goddamn glassy. And you do need to respect the uh, Flamethrower and the fact that his only good mon against this Bastion is his Magna Zone, so he needs to preserve of it because that first wild charge went through though he's able to just throw mirror shots at this point does take out the bastion does not have shield advantage unfortunately so he's going for some big brain plays builds up the wild charges not to two almost to two baits a mirror shot huge gets to the wild charge because of that bait gonna either get the last shield or take out the drip loom gets the last shield and here he's not sitting in the worst scenario he's calling the icy wind i didn't do the counting so i don't know if that was a huge call or not either way it works out amazingly for him because even though he's debuffed this avalanche is going to take out and he gets to keep his shield what is the opponent's last mon there is no last mon because he obliterated the empoleon i completely forgot about it huge call Maybe not necessarily necessary, probably counted and only saw they had enough for the Icy Wind, which is why he felt so comfortable doing that. So I was like, he could have just shielded and then gotten to the move and won regardless. But anyway, these are legend type plays, so what do I know? I tease, I tease. Either way, great play, Schroeder B. You love to see it. Gets another positive lead here. Well, gets, yes, well, back to back positive leads, yes. With Magnazone on an Obama Snow. Gonna be throwing all the steel damage because it's super effective and he doesn't have to debuff himself and he gets an attack debuff from the opponent. And he has shield advantage. Going to shields here after debuff, which I guess is not ideal, but maybe he didn't expect the opponent to commit as much as they did. And boy, is that a spice mon. They safe swap in the bronze on. He still resists the confusion damage, so he's building up the two wild charges or and throws one of them, swaps into a Sasui Electrode. Does he respect what the bronze on is gonna throw? Should be oh, it's a payback. That's unnecessary. Should have just been a side shock. Because one is stab and probably could have gotten off two moves in that scenario. Whatever. He goes for the Wild Charge, takes out the Bronzong in an even shielding scenario. Let's see if the Obamaso comes back in the farm down. It does not. The Toxicroak comes in to try and counter down, but he gets off another counter because the Electrode survives at 1 HP, and he's sitting in a great situation here. Can let whatever this Toxicroak decides to throw come through, has shield advantage, can over farm, essentially getting to two avalanches, one and a half here, should take out the Toxic Croak and then can throw at the Obama Snow that should be in the back. Uh, this is going to be GG's for another match. The opponent decides to quick, a quit and God damn, he is popping off at literally legend rank, legend ELO. I loved commentating, shoutcasting over every single one of those battles. It was wild plays at every turn. A lot of situations where he had to outplay or overcome because his team comp clearly puts in some work and it did not look necessarily positive for a lot of those matchups and is still able to go nine and one after 10 matches so again shorter b thank you so much for the submission if you'd like to send me your battles spice meta meta spice because you're winning with it at high elo like this team here please submit to the link below let me know your thoughts on the team comp let me know your thoughts on the battles thank you so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video